Hey teachers, if you're looking for a great way to take attendance, you've come to the right place. Let's go. Oh no. Learning time is precious. So if you're looking for a great way to take attendance, this is how I do it. Uh, before we get started on that, let's take attendance, okay? So let me throw the attendance link in the chat. All you have to do is find your name and then click submit. And from there, we can see who has filled this thing out. So look at, like Ben has already filled it out. Good job, Ben. Oh, look at that. Everybody just popped up immediately. Once you've taken attendance and you're checked off, you can say, see you later, Mr. N. See you later, Mr. N. All right. I know there's Chrome extensions for Google Meet, but there is just no better way to take attendance than with this really simple Google form that I've created. This is all you have to do. Send out this Google form to your kids every day. They are going to see this right here. Click on it, find their name and submit. That's all they have to do. And for you, you are going to now have a running record of all of your kids' participation for the year. It's available on my TPT store, and I'm telling you guys, this thing has saved me since we moved to virtual learning because it is such an efficient way to take attendance. Okay, so here's how you get it. You click on the link in the description, and it's gonna take you to my TPT store, and it's gonna bring you to the automated daily attendance log for distance learning. This is how I took attendance before we went to virtual learning. This is the perfect way to take attendance if you're in the hybrid model, traditional model, or virtual model. And it's super easy to configure. So once you get the product, you download it, and it's gonna open up instructions for you. So it doesn't matter if you're a elementary teacher with one homeroom class, or you're a secondary teacher with many periods that you have to cover. This attendance log can be customized just for you. So all you do is click on the link. It's going to ask you to make a copy. And with that one click, you can see it created the spreadsheet and the necessary Google Forms for each of your periods. All you have to do is add your students to the form and add your students to the spreadsheet. And then you can just sit back and watch it do its magic for the rest of the school year. Imagine how much time you're going to save with attendance by using this thing. All right, so I installed my check-in on my school district Google Drive. And by checking these two boxes, collect email addresses, and require sign-in restrict users to my school district, it now automatically records the person who's filling out the form, and it restricts it to only the kids in your district. So kids can't check in for other kids because it's recording who is signed into their account. So I've also used the reports that Zoom produces, but the problem with those is you can't do it during class. You have to wait until you have ended the meeting and then it generates the report. Sometimes in the last period of the day, that's just too late for the attendance person. They need it right away. So this way, you're able to take attendance during your period. So once my kids have checked in, there's usually like one or two kids that are not checked off. I double check to make sure they're not in my Zoom call. If my Zoom call has ended, I just verify against the Zoom report. You guys, this is the easiest, most efficient way to take attendance, not only during virtual learning, but also in class. So if you're interested in relieving a little anxiety, go get this product. I am telling you, you will not be disappointed. It's really that simple. And once you take the time to set it up, you never have to do anything for the rest of the year. It just automatically updates that spreadsheet every single day. And once your kids get in the routine of taking it, they'll ask, they'll be like, hey, did you post the attendance link yet? And then once I post it, they take it and they're out. And for you, it's a great record of attendance for your classes. So if that looks good to you and you're interested in getting this attendance tracker, I put a link in the description below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks everybody. My name is Darren Akakihara. That's your tech tip of the day.